The doctors and staff at University of Washington are top-notch. They welcome you like family. The care here is bar none phenomenal. It's just, I, I rave about it and I tell everybody, if you've got a problem, you've got to go there because honestly, at University of Washington and, and Harborview, everything was just fantastic. The University of Washington Medicine Pituitary Program is uh, really a multidisciplinary effort and incorporates uh, sub-disciplines uh, of medicine that devote um, uh, effort toward uh, the treatment of patients that suffer from pituitary tumors. The multidisciplinary approach is the cornerstone to the center, definitely. It uh, allows us to look at uh, one patient during the conference uh, with all the specialists uh, involved. Neurosurgeons, otolaryngologists, neuroendocrinologists, uh, pathologists, radiation oncologists, ophthalmologists. These patients have complex conditions that require a number of different physicians to treat them. And it's great that we're able to see them all together in one visit and come up with a good treatment plan. We came in here on, I believe it was on a Monday, and we met uh, with uh, the doctors. Uh, and we sat here and went over what the, the diagnosis was based upon the tests that they had done. And uh, they were able to, to set the schedule that day during the interview we thought we were interviewing, we actually walked out here with an appointment for an operation the following week. So it was just, it was phenomenal. I love the fact that there was a team of doctors working to heal me, to, to discover what's wrong with Rose and how can we heal her. Clinical excellence really revolves around the patient. Uh, the ultimate outcome, the cure of the patient, is really at the center of, uh, of what clinical excellence means. We're really cutting edge on the surgical discipline, neuroendocrine discipline with uh, cutting edge uh, medical therapies. And we also have a multidisciplinary uh, effort on the radiation oncology side. We have very high Tesla magnets, which do really dynamic uh, imaging, where we use contrast injections to, and uh, track the bolus of contrast as we give it in, in its passage through the pituitary gland and then we can highlight differences within the, the gland if areas of less contrast uptake or high contrast uptake. And this is an advance which is recent, so we're more likely to diagnose tumors in the pituitary gland now as compared to say five years ago. With regards to endoscopic surgery, uh, for our patients, uh, there's only a handful of centers that offer the, the treatment of uh, difficult uh, surgical tumors. Um, and we're using cutting edge technology to cure people that, that can't be cured at, at, at most other centers. For our patients that currently can't be cured uh, with the tech, techniques we use, we're searching for those unique things that will eventually offer those patients cures. We do a significant amount of research as part of the pituitary program. We focus both on clinical studies and then mostly through Dr. Ferreira's program on some basic science studies as well. I work alongside Dr. Manuel Ferreira to try to identify in pituitary disease, particularly in pituitary adenomas, craniopharyngiomas, and so forth, uh, looking at biomarkers of uh, diagnosis, of progression, and also any treatable targets of uh, disease. We're very interested in the care of acromegaly and are working currently on projects to better serve acromegaly patients, mostly by working with laboratory medicine colleagues to improve the assays for insulin-like growth factor one. In the pituitary center at the University of Washington, education is uh, one of our primary missions. Uh, we have huge interest in training the new generation of doctors, nurses, and uh, physician assistants that will be able to uh, follow us and take charge of the pituitary disease. Every day I see a tiny little bit of movement in the right direction for the better uh, treatment of our patients. I see progress and I share that passion with all of the multidisciplinary physicians in our clinic. That's what's quite exciting. I think the greatest joy that this job gives me is uh, being able to see the patients before and after surgery. When they come, when they have all these, you know, it's a life-changing event. 
And uh, when we see the outcome, it's fantastic having them going with their lives and enjoying their, their family, what they do for a living. When patients come to see us, they are happy. It's unbelievable, but you don't see that quite often. <laughs> but in our case, that's true. Had this door not opened, my dad might not be sitting here right now. I'm gonna cry. <laughs> I am forever indebted. I love you guys here at, at University of Washington, and especially the doctors that care for me. I can't thank them enough, and there's nothing I wouldn't do for them in return.